55. We are expecting some rain coming in tomorrow, and that's going to bring the perfect conditions <laughs> to stay indoors for movie night. Hey, sounds good to me. Give me a reason to stay know, inside, cuddle, up, cuddle up on my couch. Yep, yep. <laughs> there we go. Same idea. Okay, so just in time, because one movie is taking over Netflix right now, our Marcus Allen says it's what's to watch. Mark, give us the reason why. Yeah, uh, Because it's awesome. It's based on a movie that was equally awesome, and often I say, you know, you don't really have to watch the movie to watch the series, but in this case, I say you have to watch the movie first. First of all, take a look at the series. It is on Netflix right now. It is number one. It what happens? What happens when like some of the lower tiered royals that aren't really making any money turn to pot to raise money to keep their castles warm? Uh, what happens then? They get tied in with a crime syndicate, and it gets Guy Ritchie crazy. Yes, Guy Ritchie is the producer. Matthew McConaughey, who was also a part of the movie, is behind it. Take a look at the movie. The movie is remarkable, too. So see the movie, then the series. You also see Henry Golding in there. You know him from Crazy Rich Asian. Awesome as well. I sat down with the two of them to uh, talk about all things gentlemanly. Take a look. Who uh, first became most famous, probably, because you were America's, the world's sweetheart in Crazy Rich Asians? What makes a good gentleman? Because your character was known for that. Not so much this character, but that one. I think somebody, I mean, it, it goes back to the, the tropes of being a gentleman. And I think they're tropes for a reason. You know, being respectful, being sort of gentlemanly in a sense. So Matthew, the average guy should correct what to be the best gentleman? Where are most of us getting it wrong? Oh. Uh, don't too, too, too many of us try to be everything to everybody all the time, and um, you know a, a gentleman does is one man at a time. Uh, uh, do you understand what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So it's it's sort of uh, um, a gentleman has a certain identity. He doesn't have to get. He doesn't. You don't. You don't feel a gentleman, as I said earlier, trespassing, reaching out to access and success around him to get identity. Um, yeah, the gentleman has a certain presence and uh, respect, not only for others, but for self, um, which I think you can, you can walk in a room and no one even has to say anything, and you can usually pick out a gentleman, just as you can pick out a real lady. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right? Right? No, I have no idea what you mean. But I honestly, I asked him that question just hoping he would give me a branch of that, like mm -hmm. Matthew McConaughey philosophy that goes on forever. And uh, I got exactly what did. I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Watch the movie, The Gentleman. It is awesome, produced, written, directed by Guy Ritchie. Then watch the series, Guy Ritchie in it, Matthew McConaughey, not so much, but both mm -hmm. equally awesome. You can check them both out on Netflix. And by the way, I'm, I'm wearing purple because today's the big state of the city address, and I'm mm -hmm. showing my solidarity for the city. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are doing, but we look like my favorite Easter egg palette <laughs> right now. We do look like a nice little Easter we egg. We do. Yeah. I love that. Phenomenal. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're going to sit and watch the We're gonna watch the movie first and then the series into the weekend, Mark. That's what I'm saying. All, all right. right. Note to self. Add to our watch list. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's